guys so obviously i'm going to ghana um this time around i'm gonna go to all the hotspots uh for restaurants and lounges if you want to know where those things are in ghana keep watching and send it to all your girlfriends okay Damn, this is extra right? This is a madness. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the first restaurant is actually one of my face. As you can see, this is the entrance and the flowers are already giving it a vibe. Um, what I like the most about Kozob is just the details. Um, you have an outside area where you can lounge. You have an outside area for the restaurant where you can eat. And you also have an inside area for the restaurant where you can eat. First, we were seated outside, but it was too warm, so we went inside. They don't really have a large menu with drinks they do but not really with food this time i went i did not enjoy the food i ordered however the other time i really did it is quite expensive though but i think it's worth the whole experience and a reservation is definitely required because it can get really busy there and this dessert guys was delicious like gosh i can't really i can't even explain it overall the location is a 10 the vibe is definitely always there the dj is always good the shisha they have one of the best shishas in a cross definitely a 10 out of 10 next location is garage lounge it's giving me a bit of bloom bar vibes but i feel like a lot of young people go to bloom bar and garage and more adults are here the service is okay we had to wait quite long on our drinks though which was unfortunate but however the cocktails were good the shisha is not that good unfortunately and um i think the place is really nice you also have an area where you can take pictures the dj was really good i was really surprised and everybody literally got lit at the end of the night the location is also really good it's in east legon they have a large parking lot in front of the lounge however you do need to make a reservation otherwise you will not get in hi guys it's currently 2 17 we're at breakfast to breakfast this is my first time here um the place is really neat there's an outside area you can you can um you can do shisha as well it's called breakfast to breakfast but you can have a lot of things burgers pizza so i'm gonna taste the food and let you guys know what's good guys i took a um chili grilled chicken salad it smells really good and i'm really looking forward to eating it Stacey took a burger with fries is it good are the fries good <laughs> okay guys my food definitely looks way better than it tasted i don't know the topping was fine but i don't know what was underneath it the ingredients but it was not hitting guys later on when i went home i bought fried rice with chicken which was definitely a four or five out of all the fried rice i've had in Ghana, so i don't really like the food there the breakfast are really good though i've had that multiple times good afternoon guys today is saturday don't watch my oily skin today saturday is 3 p.m i'm gonna have something to eat at bondi this is my first time here um so i'm really curious i've heard good things about it this is the area it's in it's in osu It's so nice and Instagrammable. Oh, it's such a yeah, so nice. You can sit outside, of course, I see. And you can sit inside. But it's actually cool here. Hi. Yes, please. 
Oh, great, thank you. As you can see, they welcome you immediately, ask you if you want to sit outside or inside. Um, this car is really comfy. Guys, this is called Chelsea's Chelsea something. I forgot the name, and I'm gonna taste it for you guys. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's so refreshing. It's really refreshing. I love this drink, and of course, I got me a glass of champagne because took my daily. <laughs> Guys, I ordered fish and, sh and chips. To be honest, I expected um, fries, but it tastes, tastes is good. It tastes good. Yours look really good. The fries look really good. I'm actually jealous of your food, but either way, let me eat it. Guys, this is the price, so then you have an idea of um, how how they charge. It's a wrap, guys. It's a wrap. Yeah, I'm tired and sweaty, and I'm full, and a little bit to see, a little bit because I had champagne and a cocktail, which was really good. But, yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome to Pomona, an Italian restaurant in Ghana. This is really top five. One of my top five as well. The location I gave to seven because the restaurant itself is really nice. But the area is not that. It was hard to find. We had to drive around, around, around. But either way, the restaurant itself is really presentable. It's big. They have a parking lot in front of the restaurant. And um, it's really neat as well. When you come in, you get welcomed. You get a menu card. They ask you if you're okay. You can sit outside and you can sit inside the service was so good guys that i even got a chair for my bag can you imagine ding 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 however um i had a cocktail which was good it tasted like a milkshake actually we had steaks which actually tasted like bread and it was good as well it was so good that we actually ordered another portion and guys the salad this is one of the best salads i've had as you can see there's avocado tomato quinoa so many things stacy stacy her pizza looked very freshly made which actually was i think i think this is the best salad i've ever had in my life this is even better than the one I had um, in December at um, Santo Uco. Yeah. Here is the receipt so you have an idea of how they charge. Overall, this restaurant is a 10 out of 10 for me. Welcome to the vineyard, guys. It's a lounge in Continent. It's actually in a hotel. Um, I think the lift is a vibe, let's be honest. When you get up, it's giving rich girl vibes. It's giving gold. It's giving um, Instagram, you know. It's, it's giving vibes. It was quiet that day, but I've heard that it can really get down on a Friday. And mind you guys, some of these locations, you don't have to make a reservation. But that's because of the time I went. But best believe when you go in December, you need to make a reservation for everything. I had a drink and I had a cocktail. I had a shisha. I mean, it wasn't the best shisha in the world, but it was okay. It was all right. Um, I just said that I didn't eat, unfortunately, so I can't let you guys know how that was. I just enjoyed the view and I went back home. Here is also the receipt. You can pause it and see whatever I got and see how they charge. Like I already said, it's very Instagrammable. You can take pictures upstairs, or you can take pictures downstairs in the lobby of the hotel. 
Last but not least, guys, sandbox. I always say Sundays are for sandbox. <laughs> I just like being there on a Sunday. I've been here multiple times, and this recording I'm doing does not do any justice because sandbox is really big. You can sit upstairs, you can sit downstairs, you have cabanas by the water, like so many possibilities. Um, I really like the drink, the cocktails are really nice, but guys. The food is also good when you eventually receive it because the service is really a two or a three, maybe less, not more. The service is so bad, I literally had to beg for my food. But yeah, when you receive it, it is good, good and it does slap. Um, besides that, the DJ is really good. It's, also, it's always a vibe there. It is a bit pricey. It's in the same category as Kozo, but it's worth it. Guys, do not even try to go to Sandbox without a reservation because you will not get in or you will stand there for like hours until you eventually have a table. So please don't make that mistake. Make a reservation. <laughs> please don't make that mistake and make a reservation. Besides everything, Sandbox is always a vibe. Guys, we've come to an end. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a like. If you have any questions or any spots you would like me to visit, please put it in a comment. This is not a sponsored video and these are my honest opinions. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.